girls are bad at math, we're gonna talk about that. Hi, I'm Maddie Weinstein and this is Pumpkin Pie. I'm a mathematician and this is What's the Scoop on Curiosity Camp. Question one is from Bailey. Do you think there are stereotypes about being a mathematician that are actually true? I think people have this idea that we're like sitting alone in some room, working away. That's not what my work day <laughs> looks like at all. Most of my math is actually very collaborative. Like we don't work alone. We generally work with each other. <laughs> um, no, I was once asked by a student, do you ever make a mistake while you're doing math? I thought that was a very funny question because I would say that if I'm working on a problem the first few months, I'm wrong most of the time. Really research is just where you use all of the different wrong answers that you've come up with to learn more and more about your problem and eventually you do hope to get to something that's correct. So mathematicians are wrong plenty. <laughs> Why are girls bad at math? Wow. It's very hard for me to even comprehend that question because my mind is just full of examples of all these women mathematicians who have made these brilliant discoveries. My favorite women mathematician is Professor Talithia Williams. She wrote this book with a whole bunch of biographies of women mathematicians. Women can be amazing mathematicians. How do these shapes that you study fit into real life? I study algebraic geometry. Geometry is the study of shapes and algebra is the study of equations. And algebraic geometry means that we use algebra or use equations to study shapes. Oftentimes in life, we're concerned with getting somewhere faster or finding like the best possible route between two places. And the shapes that I study find these optimal distances. Pretend that you have some 3D object, you're playing chase with your friend, and she's over there and you're over here, then I study shapes that sort of summarize that information to tell you how to chase your friend around this weird 3D object. What drew you to study shapes? Which one is your favorite? I like Tauruses. They're round in so many ways. So there's just like so many places that you can find a circle inside a torus. And I just find that visually appealing. I also find them tasty when they come in the form of donuts. Question number four is from Ava. Would this type of math fit into my interest of coding? I want to make apps and websites like YouTube. Ava, I think it is awesome that you are interested in coding. Coding is a real toolbox uh, really throughout math. Scientists, they go out into the field and they measure things and they get their hands dirty. When mathematicians do experiments, we just write computer code. That is an amazing skill to develop that will help you no matter what you wanna do in life. So go on and make those apps and those websites. I am looking forward to visiting them. So this friend is named Pumpkin. His middle name is Pi, which stands for the wonderful number that is approximately equal to 3.14. Question number five is from Mackenzie. What is the best and worst part of being a mathematician? So one of the best parts of being a mathematician is the freedom to do math wherever and whenever you'd like. Your employer will pay you to travel to conferences all around the world. I'd say that there isn't much of a worst part. And the reason for that is that you have a lot of freedom to do whatever you'd like. One piece of advice I have for young people who want to go into math, science, or really anything is to learn how to code as early as you can. That's just a tool that will unlock so many powers. Check out more campisodes on goldieblocks.com every Tuesday. Send us your questions on Instagram to have them featured in a future campisode.